What's cracking with your snack and snacker stars? It's me, me, the BRE, the man in the backwards hat, Brandon from the SAS, the Snack Food Appreciation Society. And I'm running from the shadows or something here because it's a very sunny day in Maryland. And I'm going to try, hopefully, two of Burger King's brand new King Burgers. Will I be successful? Is that even a thing here in this particular area? I don't even know, but we'll find out on this exciting edition of OTR. You are looking live at the Burger King in the Black Rock Center in Germantown, Maryland, and that Burger King is currently closed on the inside, just like the one right down the street from my house. That's kind of the reason why I came here, because I wanted to go to one where I didn't have to sit in a drive through and yell at people through a box, which I ended up having to do. Because, as you know, in the D.C. area, it's never fun trying to order fast food. Anyway, uh, there's a vape shop over there. There's a Wells Fargo bank here. Behind me is a Safeway. And also a Starbucks. And there's a pizza place called And Pizza over there. Which I've reviewed a different location of, but there's one over there. Anyway, and anyhow, that's not what this is all about. Today I'm here to review, or I was here to review, two brand new burgers, but it was hard enough to even get one. I'll tell you the story of how this thing all fell apart to begin with after I uh, get things uh, out of the package here and show you what they look like and get started. But anyway, I was going to review two burgers. I ended up with one. I really don't know which one this is, whether this is the Nightmare King or the Philly Cheese King, but let's go ahead and unveil it and find out, shall we? Due to the fact that there is no green bun, I'm going to guess that this is the Philly Cheese King, which I learned about from Fast Food Brian of uh, his channel. I believe it's called New Fast Food. And uh, yeah, let's take a look at this thing. Philly Cheese King. It's got two big old patties on the beef. Lots and lots of cheese. Looks like regular American cheese melted on there. And then, take off this crown of the bun, which is a sesame seed king bun, by the way. You've got cheese sauce and grilled onions. So this is indeed the Philly Cheese King. I guess they do not have the Nightmare King here. Or if they do, they just could not uh, get around the, their mind around the fact that I wanted both. But I'll tell you more about that in a minute and more on this exciting edition of OTR. Well, I did say something about October being cheesesteak month here with the Snack Society, didn't I? I did a couple of cheesesteak reviews already. We did some work with Jerry Subs and Pizza that we'll tell you about and show you in the future. And, ladies and gentlemen, I've got the Philly Cheese King, which has no steak on it, but I guess hamburger is chopped steak in a way. Um, yeah. So nice and big and juicy. It was what seven dollars? Let's see here, seven thirty nine or seven eighty three after tax. And like I was saying, it's a really sunny day out here. So please forgive the shadows. I'm trying to be as visible as possible, but uh, not working out so great there. Um, no matter where I parked in this parking lot, there was just tons of sun or too much shade. So this is what we're working with for now. Sorry about that. Anyhow. Uh, let me show you this thing next to my noggin the way I always do as I tell you about what happened. I basically, at, like I said, the inside's closed. Only drive through access. And it's a non-escapable non drive through uh, All of a sudden, you know, I'm asking, do you have the Nightmare King and the Philly King? And they don't know what I'm talking about whatsoever. Uh, so it's like, okay, it's brand new. It's supposed to come out today. Finally, I hear somebody talk about Halloween in the background. But then somebody comes up and says, yes, we have it. And then when I got to the first window to pay, the lady asked, do you have the Bacon King, right? And I'm like, no, I have the, I thought I had the Philly King and the Nightmare King. Do I not have both? And she had, again, no idea what I was talking about. And I was like, it's a new sandwich, new burger, it's supposed to be out today, both of them are. And I guess a manager type came up and was like, oh yeah, no, you got it, don't worry about it. That, we, the, it's just not updated in the system and she hasn't been told yet. I'm like, oh, well, that's good because, you know, your employees don't need to know anything about what you're actually selling, right? So when I finally get up to the front window, it's only one burger. I ask about the Nightmare one. I get the same duh expression on the face and um, 
Somebody said something about they haven't got the buns yet. So I guess that's why I got stuck with the Philly King. Showing it to you next to my noggin the way I always do. Just to get around what I wanted to tell you. Let me go ahead and take a big bite of this thing and let you know what I think about it. I probably have cheese sauce all over my face and beard. But that's okay. That's a pretty tasty burger, guys. Um despite as difficult as it may have been to obtain uh, two nice big juicy beef patties with that Burger King char uh, broiled flavor um, really really you know tastes great when they're done right and they're done right today here so that's very good uh, nice and cheesy because it has those two slices of cheese and then plenty of that cheese sauce and that cheese sauce is nice and thick and not runny and it has a good cheddar flavor not too uh, bland so that worked out okay for me. The one thing I would say is that the uh, onions, the grilled onions, were a little on the slimy side, not quite cooked completely the way I like them. More caramelized than grilled, I guess. I don't really know, but either way, uh, all in all, the flavor of the onions helped you know, bring out the beef a little bit more, kind of like that when you put the onion soup in the burger mix type thing. Uh, it kind of helps bring out some of that beefy flavor, and that's what it did here as well. So putting two and two and two and two together doesn't always make what you think it makes, but in this case, it makes a three-quarter thumbs up from me, me, the BRE, for the uh, Philly Cheese King today on OTR. And ladies and gentlemen, you can continue to watch more OTR with OTR the Extra Mile right after this if you're a Patreon supporter. So make sure you go down in the description below this video, click the link to Patreon, support us with just $1 a month, and you get four fresh episodes of OTR The Extra Mile. Um, you know, what can I say? Trying to give everybody a little bit of exclusive content who uh, supports the uh, Snack Society and goes the extra mile themselves. So thank you for that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for watching all the time. Thank you for being part of our Facebook group, which you can join by clicking on the other link in the description down below. Heck, there's even a link to my Twitter page, which you can reach at Brandon Reich SAS. And when you do, make sure you use the handy hashtag Snack Society all day, every day. That way you know what I'm eating and I know what you're eating too. So make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and get ready to go to the extra mile. Ring that bell to be notified. In the meantime, in between time, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.